Hey guys, it's Lori. Have you ever tried to get those coffee stains off your coffee maker, especially the old kind of coffee makers, or even the Keurig, because the Keurig has that holding tank and you have to clean it over and over again. Most of us use vinegar, but I'm going to show you how to do it with baking soda. Stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Lori. This is a little bit of a different video than I normally do, and I do have some stuff I want to talk to you about later, so stay tuned. But you know coffee makers okay i've got an old school coffee maker i have a keurig in storage but where i'm staying now the girl doesn't drink coffee so i went out and bought like one of those old school ones i know we can clean them with vinegar but what a pain in the butt right it smells like vinegar then you gotta run the water through it i mean no big deal i do that anyway i am an advocate for vinegar vinegar and orange peels vinegar and lemon peels i mean you can make this stuff that works so much better i like to use natural products, natural products for my face, my hair. And right now I don't look that great, but honestly, I have had, because of the health issues I've had and the treatments for them, it's not the disease, you know, it's the treatments that ruin you. I mean, look at my arms. That's from treatments, okay? Um, I've had people try to tell me it's from the medicine. It's not. It's from the treatments that I've had. I know I've been through it. My bones are now crumbling because of the treatments. Um, my teeth are full. I used to have perfect teeth. My suggestion to you, if you develop any kind of cancer or autoimmune disease or anything like that, if they suggest to you radiation or chemotherapy, think hard. Okay? Think hard. There are a lot of... Um, and you know what? I'm not saying to fall for some new age guru either, because don't do that. Don't fall for some of that crap. But there are natural alternatives. God has put um, natural alternatives in this world. I'm not saying don't go to a medical doctor. Absolutely go to a medical doctor. But just think twice about the treatments. I've had so many different treatments that it has totally ripped my body apart. I'm not even 50 years old yet. And my body is doing things that like 80 year old bodies do. So anyway, back to this. So your coffee maker, like all grimy and stuff. Okay, I'm going to use vinegar later, but I wanted to try baking soda and see what happens. So I'm going to take just regular baking soda. It's actually even cheap baking soda. It's not even Arm & Hammer. It's the store brand. And um, I'm going to try to clean it. I'll be right back to you and see uh, see what happens. I'll show you right now. That's what I'm doing. I'm not using vinegar. Uh, I'm going to dump some in here and just see what happens. Um, I've got the... the... Um, the canter too. Um, and just see what happens, you know, and you know, this, this part here, um, I'm going to run vinegar through, but I want to try the baking soda and see what happens. Cause I know that I, let me tell you something big, you know, if this right here, this Tupperware container was stained red. One of my pet peeves when you put any kind, that's why I don't like to use plastic. I love Tupperware, don't get me wrong. And now the newer kinds, you, know, you can get the Glad um, containers really cheap. But um, I don't like to use plastic for any kind of sauces because it's harder to clean. And even when you get it clean, it squeaks, it's still got that stain on it. And to me, it's a pet peeve. It's just disgusting to me. Even though I know it's clean, it's just a stain, it really disgusts me. So Baking, just add a tiny bit of baking soda and some water, and that will get those sauce stains off. Believe me, try it. I did it. I wanted to make a video on it, and I forgot. So if I can find another um, stained one, I will definitely show you in a video. But let's try it on a coffee maker and see what happens. All right, I'll be right back with the results. Okay, so that is baking soda and water I'm running through the machine. So I'm going to let that run through. And see, it's just my baking soda. Just baking soda and water. That's all. I didn't even use any detergent or anything. No soap, just baking soda and water. Let's see what happens. I will be right back. Looking pretty good so far. It's coming through pretty clear, just like it would with vinegar. We'll see when it's all done. I want to make it look better than with vinegar, but we'll see. I don't know. I've never done it with baking soda before, so we'll see. Be right back. 
Okay, guys, so I'm done. Um, that is, you know, the little basket. You can see all those stains are gone, like completely gone. That, that's pretty impressive, actually. Um, even, whoop, jeez. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Even, like, on the back side, it's not too, too bad. I mean, it's still a little stained, but it's, it, it was really dark before there. Um, the stains there. I mean, that's white, white, white. Let's see. Well, that's not, that doesn't really get coffee stained in there, but, um, all of that is clean. The top of the decanter still has a little bit of a stain. I didn't like that, but, um, that's it pretty much. Now, I mean, that impressed me though, because you saw it before. All right. Um, just baking soda and water. And, um, you know, I, wa I washed it in that. I let it sit for about maybe four or five minutes. Then I kind of washed it with a sponge. Nothing major, just sponges. I don't have any, like, you know, Brillo or anything. Um, and then I ran, you know, with vinegar, you get to run one water through several times. I ran water through one time. And now I'm going to make some coffee, see how it tastes. All right. Okay, so I made a little bit of coffee. You can see. I'll take it out. See, that's why that gets all nasty right there. Um, but if you can see, I mean, it did get somewhat clean, but that's why that gets dirty because the coffee falls on it. Um, this can be used on a Keurig as well. And the thing that I like about it is when you try to clean a Keurig with vinegar, you got to run it through so many times because the Keurig holds it. It's not like these old ones that um, it just goes right through. And even with these, with vinegar, I used to run it through like four or five times just so I didn't get the taste of vinegar. And with a Keurig, a lot of people won't even use vinegar because it does have that holding tank and it does take... A while to clean it out but this is the coffee you can see um, everything looks pretty clear right and I do not drink my coffee black I drink it um, with cream and sugar hi guys so here goes I'm gonna taste it this is the coffee the infamous coffee really good really good you can tell that the machine has been cleaned um, if anything, it's a little stronger. I made it kind of strong, but um, you can tell that it has been cleaned and um, it tastes really good, you know. Uh, so that's it. Just baking soda and water, nothing else. Not to say that I'm against using vinegar because I used to use vinegar all the time and I use vinegar for other things. I make um, really good cleaning stuff with lemon peels and vinegar and orange peels and vinegar and it just the orange peels and the lemon peels give it a nice scent the lemon peels though um especially lemon peels orange peels too they have um the acid in them helps to get rid of a lot of different cleaning things so it's really really good it's a good cleaner i mean you can use vinegar straight vinegar and water a little bit to clean anything but I like to use the orange peels and the lemon peels for different jobs. The lemon, I, I love the scent of lemon. But yeah, if you want to clean your coffee maker, like I said, it works on a Keurig or anything like it too. You don't have to run it through as many times. Um, with this, I only ran it through once. With a Keurig, I'd probably run it, run it through twice just to make sure the holding tank is clean. But you know what? If you don't get all the baking soda out, it's not going to hurt you, right? Neither will vinegar, but you won't get that yucky taste. All right, guys, just a quick tip. I'm going to be doing another video, more like the ones I normally do, but watch periodically for different cleaning tips. I also can tell you how to make some facial products and some hair products, and we all know about the toothpaste, but different cleaning products with baking soda. All righty. Talk to you soon. Bye.